Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. <laughs> Alma, we're in the kitchen. We are making a casserole. I found the original recipe on Real House Moms, I believe, and I am adapting it to make it a keto casserole with protein included. The original does not call for it, so I will go ahead and put a link to the original one, and then you can see my adaptation. All right, guys. So here we have our onions. They use a sweet yellow onion. I have chicken. They don't use any chicken. I have some pepper jack cheese, I have my lovely pork rinds, the squash, and here is the cheese that I have shredded. I will most likely still need a little bit more. So on the stove, I have two tablespoons of bacon drippings. We're going to go ahead and put the onions as well as the squash into the pan. Let's get going. All right, so here we are at the stove top. What I have in here is on low heat, low to medium heat actually, I have the seven ounces of onions sauteing with four and a half to five cups of yellow squash and about two heaping teaspoons of minced garlic. So what I'm gonna do is move the heat now to low and let this steam while I do some more preparations. Let's go check. All right, so now it's time to grind up, blend up our lovely pork rinds. I get these from Aldi's. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and put these in our blender, get these all processed up. Once we do that, we're gonna dump them into a bowl and uh, see you in a minute. Let's get to blending. Small batches of time work best. All right, you get the point. Be back in a minute. All right, guys, so here we are. We have uh, blended up the pork rinds. I ended up using one and a half bags. To this, I also added two eggs beaten. I added one quarter cup of melted butter and three quarter cups of heavy whipping cream. Let me go ahead and get this mixed up and we'll move on to the next step. All right guys, here we are. I have now dumped all of the ingredients into this mixing bowl. So I added half a cup of half and half and then you're just gonna mix it all together. Uh, I also added about a quarter teaspoon of chives and a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Season this to however you want, guys. I get it nicely mixed. Now the recipe calls for you to take half of the pork rind and cheese mixture, set it aside. I, I didn't want to do that. I'm just mixing it all up and putting it into a baking dish. Actually, I will be mixing it up and putting it in my air fryer. And so I'm gonna cook all of it today. And once the other batch cools off, I'll stick it in my freezer so I have a dinner for another day. All right, guys, and here is the finished product. I did this in my air fryer, about 350. I would probably reduce it down to about 325 on the rest of the batches. I say that, but this is the way David likes it, guys. He wants a good scald on everything. He loves it that way. And I do too, um, but for picture taking purposes, it doesn't always work well. <laughs> Ooh, you see that hot steam? There you go. Have a blessed day, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with you. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button so that you'll know each time I post a new video. All right, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Choice Wednesday. It's Onito. Now here's my wife to teach us keto. Pork rinds, pork rinds, rah, rah, rah. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, blah, blah, blah. Kiss <laughs> my teeth. <laughs>